but we're in. This is Michael and Goldie bonding. Bleeding a little bit on that one. I have some oil that'll stop it. Yeah. Don't worry about it. And, you the, know. and the carpet cleans. Because when she dug, when she tried to get me right there, push in, mm -hmm. I don't even crack itself. See this one here? Yeah. That, that wasn't even me. Yeah. Yes, I mean one of. I think just because the pressure from digging into me during that was all. Oh. Sorry. If you want, if you guys want to put a towel in there, you can. If you guys have a towel on there. Yeah. So, you know, you have, you know, in this kind of a case, you know, the 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 fear of just what is is what's what's going on. So, you know, she needs to get over that initial. When she wants to attack like that, you know, you just have to, you can't back off from that, you know, and you have to pin... I've seen the camera, you didn't see the, that, that go out, but. Okay, so Jay, just for you can see, we're not gonna do it yet, but you see right here, mm -hmm. the snap clasp? So that's what we'll get going, and then. Now. I don't like that class with it being rubbery. It's hard to slide in and out mm -hmm. anyway. But man, you just reach for that buckle and she so just flipped out. What this is here, what we're going to do is because she's not even willing to surrender her head down, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She's willing to push again. So this just becomes a patience game. Now, in case of you have to show this to anyone just so we can explain to you. Um, now I'm on top of Goldie and my hands are on the neck. There's no squeezing. We're not digging into the throat. And my body weight is just to um, overcome her being able to kick up. I'm not crushing her with my, my hips or my butt. We're not sitting completely on her. I use my, my legs to balance my weight. Michael, introduce yourself and what you Oh, your sorry. Company. So I'm Mike Matala, um, the founder of uh, Dog Method. You can see us at dogmethod.com. And we also have a YouTube channel. And... Um, what it is, is we help uh, rehabilitate troubled dogs. And in Goldie's case, we don't know her past very well, uh, where she came from. And so we, um, all we know the background for this dog is that, you know, she's, she was a, a tornado dog that you've had now for how long? Uh, we brought her here on July 1st. I began working with her the day after the more tornado. Okay. And she had been hit in the face with debris. She had a lump on her face and was totally terrified. Sure. Brought in on a catch pole. And that could be it, too. You know, if debris were to be a part of hitting her during that, that could also become a traumatic event that, you know. And so, and you can see just the touch. You can't, I mean, you can't see the nose too well, but you start to have that flare. So... And so, you know, the dog is, you know, in an unsure state, you know, we just want to approach this with a level of calm. Um, once we have the pin and we get over that, dogs transition their mind every 10 to 20 seconds. So, so you know, um, we have this explosion of, oh my goodness, and then it, it can calm down. Now, when you have a dog that's not afraid to put their teeth on people, you know, that's something that... You know, we can do this at the house to get the muzzle off, um, but um, it's just not something I can cure at a house. I mean, that's why I live with you for 
So we have a spare bedroom. Well, yeah, I'm going to live with you guys for six months. You know? we, we have people that love our bed and breakfast, especially. <laughs> especially. Yeah, he's a great cook. <laughs> so, and so, again, what's happening in this situation, for those of you watching, too, that may watch, um, Goldie, uh, you know, they have to put this muzzle on when she goes to uh, doggy daycare or when they, they board her. And um, after yesterday, I got to work for a little bit. She's very, very intense and has not been able to take this muzzle off in how many hours now? A while. It's been 24 hours. It's 24 hours, yeah. So, um, though with a deep enough water bowl, she could drink. It does hinder eating and all that stuff. And so. Yeah, I wasn't able to feed her last night or this morning. Right. And so, what we're doing is we're just we're just getting the body to the point. What we're going to do in a minute here, um, Jay is actually going to hitch the muzzle, and I'm going to hold the dog down now. Uh, when we come out of that state, you know, she's going to want to, she's going to be in overdrive even with the muzzle off, and that'll be the most dangerous transition. Once we get past that point, we'll be in good shape, but until that happens, then we have to be very, very careful um, as far as that's concerned. So, um, you want to try to switch muzzles or just totally get it off and Well, move? I'd rather get it off for now, um, just because she's had it on for so long. Yeah. Um, She's got to eat. Yeah, she's going well, yeah, to eat, drink. Just see, the overall psychology. See, I couldn't get her on that side. Yeah. She would not. She she fought me every, every inch of the way to get her on that side where we could get to the buckle the other day. She's still not willing to give up. Yeah. And so, again, this is a level of hyperaggression that we see. And so, um, you know, you just have to. Yeah, so what's going to happen is, okay, so when we work on you, helping me with the muzzle in a minute, um, once you get this clasp up, pull back, and you get the button through the loophole, that's when I'll have you back up completely, okay? Because I don't want you to be in the striking range. Um, and so, this here, we just, do, we just check. See, even the sound. So what we're going to show you on camera is we're just going to show you the sound just to see, okay? And so, you know, we have a soft growl there, too. I mean, she definitely doesn't want to do it. So, all right, Jay, what I'm going to have you do is come on over here. Okay. okay hold on a second. And that's what we weren't able to do was control her head. And then she wrapped her legs around Terry's arm, yeah. which just tore up his arm okay. with nails. So she might jump with your left hand on with your right hand. I want you to cover her eye. Okay. Okay, with your right hand very gently, pull it out. Okay, hold there, hold there, hold there. Okay, just wait for a second. Okay, pull that clasp up, can you? Okay, back up, throw up and slide it for me. Watch your, watch your fingers. Okay, do, 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 pull that out. Okay, back up. Stiff to gulp, get off there, and then Jay. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, she wants in her kennel now. It's a good girl. Get my good wire on you. So the best thing we can do right then and there is to go for a walk. Can you put my laces back into the shoe? Come on, come off of what we just faced. 